All right, welcome back. So um, as we talked about in the previous video, we, we, we talked about the various techniques that we can use to measure um, the distance from one cluster to the other, right? So we got to know that measuring the distance from one point to the other is quite easier, but measuring it from one cluster to the other is quite, um, needs some quite um, um, robust techniques. And we discussed some of them here, um, being single linkage, um, complete linkage, average linkage, um, centrality linkage, right? So we consider some of them here. Now, the problem that we figured out is um, we might end up with different dendrograms, right? We might end up with um, different different dendrograms, okay? So in order for us to actually get to know which dendrogram is doing better and, um, I mean, which dendrogram represents our data better and which one should we go with, right? We have several techniques that we can use, right? We have several techniques that we can use now and uh, one of the one of the techniques that we can actually consider is uh, what we refer to as the cofenetic right what we refer to as the cofenetic right cofenetic correlation all right so let's let's actually um, go to the whiteboard and get to know um, get get some intuition behind this cofenetic correlation right let's see how that is actually being used and uh, how we can actually use it. So let's let me write it here for you. Right. So uh, we have one of the good methods that we can use to measure how well our um, dendrogram is doing as compared to our original data. Right. So we have this cofenetic correlation method that we can actually um, use to measure the um, how well the I mean the correlation between the the distance of 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 I mean of our original data and also our dendrogram um, data. All right. So let's talk a little bit more about this cofinetic correlation. Okay. Now, what what cofinetic correlation does is it takes the Euclidean distance, right? It takes the Euclidean distance between each pair of the points, right? Each pair of the points in our data set, and then compare it with the corresponding dendrogram distance, right? And then compare it with the corresponding dendrogram distance. And it is actually, I mean, what it's actually doing is, I mean, checking the correlation between two distances all right so let's let's try and then break it down over here so what i'm saying is that um the correlation or the cofinetic correlation right takes the euclidean distance so let's say we have we have point a right we have point a and then we have point b then we have point c we have point um we have point d all right we have um we have point d over here let's say point point a is um is 10 over here point b uh, or maybe let me let me actually do it this way. Um, right, let me say um, this is say eleven, and then this is say nine, and then C is um, let me just give it ten, right? And then D is is say um, let's say D is five, right? Let's say D is five. So now, what um, if if we if we consider Euclidean distance, right? What Euclidean distance will do is that if we want to measure say distance from A to B, right? So these are just hypothetical numbers that I'm using over here, right? So that is actually going to be um, 11 minus 9, right? That square, and then we find the root of that, right? So um, probably this is going to give you um, 11 minus 9 is actually going to give you 2, right? So that is going to give you 2 squared and root of that. I mean, so that is going to give you 4. And then root of that is going to give you two. So the distance is actually going to be say two units, right? And then um, if we want to consider say the distance between, um, let's take C and D, right? Let's take C and D, so the distance from C to D, right? So um, if we consider the numbers over there, then uh, probably we're going to get 10 minus five, right? The square of that. So this is actually going to give us um, say five squared. That is going to give us 25. And this is going to give us five, right? So we're going to have five units over here. Okay, so this becomes the Euclidean distance, right? This becomes the Euclidean distance. Now let's see. Um, let me actually zoom in a little bit. Yeah, I think it's better. All right. So let's see the dendrogram distance. So let's say we have the point, um, like like what we built here. So I'm going to do the same thing over here, right? Let me actually put them on uh, on this. Let me draw this one here. Okay. So let's say we have point A here. Right. We have point A here, and then we have point um, B here. Right. 
and then we have we have point C, we have uh, we have point D, right? So we have point E. So I'm drawing the same thing that we we did earlier on, right? So um, let's say we have this two here. We have say four. We have six. We have um, eight. Right? We have ten. Something like that. Okay. Let's say we have something like that. Now um, A and B are closer to each other, so maybe uh, maybe something like this, right? Maybe something like that. And then now uh, if we take if we take this one E and F, right? Something like that. And then maybe um this one something like this right then maybe c and d or c d e f something like that right and then finally we can maybe connect all of them at some point okay so um this is just a rough diagram over here now let's let's see what cofinetic um correlation will do right let's see what um cofinetic correlation will do over here So what is what what um, cofinetic correlation is going to do is that if you pick the distance from say A and B, right? So um, let's do it this way, and then we're having we're having C and D, right? We're having C and then D, right? So um, let's say this part, this let me divide it into two, right? Let me divide this one into two. Okay, so let's say we have um, this part to be the Euclidean distance, right? The Euclidean distance right and then um this one to be the distance on the on the dendrogram right so this is the dendrogram over here right this is the dendro dendrogram right and this is this is the euclidean distance right this is the euclidean right that is the euclidean distance all right, so what is going to do, what cofinetic correlation is going to do is to measure um, the correlation between this Euclidean distance and the dendrogram distance, right? To see what, how well they are correlated. So if they are highly correlated, it means that um, the dendrogram is actually representing the actual distance, okay? So the higher they are, the better they are, all right? So now, this is, let's say this is the, um, the Euclidean distance over here, and then uh, we have the dendrogram distance, right? Dendrogram distance okay so now the euclidean distance which is the actual distance a and b we got two units over here right so we need to put the two over there right and then let's go to um the dendrogram and then see what we got so maybe a little bit above two right so maybe 2.2 .2 or something like that all right so the dendrogram distance for a and b was somewhere 2.2 .2, right so the distance you measure it according to where they meet right so a and then b meet somewhere here right a and b meet somewhere here so if we want to measure the distance then we trace it like this and then we go to, to see how well right and then so this this is the actual distance this is the um this is the dendrogram distance right it's not always going to be the same right if we have it to be the same thing then it's perfect but uh, mostly it's not going to be the same all right so but the variation shouldn't be that much right in this case you can see that there's, it's just 0.2 so it's not that much now let's say the distance let's see the distance between c and d right the distance the actual distance which is the euclidean distance was five right so we got five units so we can put five over here so let's go and see the dendrogram distance so um c and then d right so c and then d they all met somewhere here right they all met here so if we want to trace them right if we want to trace them here right so somewhere here right so um maybe maybe um between four and four and six is five isn't it it's five so maybe it won't be exactly five maybe 5.1 or maybe 4.9 or something like that so we can choose either of them over here so maybe we should choose um say 4.9 right something like that okay so now you can see that um the 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 euclidean distance which is the actual distance is very much closer to the dendrogram distance right and you can see for either of them so this one if we measure the correlation between um the euclidean distance and then the dendrogram distance so probably we will get something like um zero point um zero point say seven or zero point eight right so very high or maybe even zero point eight nine something like that right so very high correlation so if you get a higher correlation like that right so this 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 correlation becomes the cofinetic correlation right so if you have a higher correlation like that, then we can see that the dendrogram is actually an actual representation of the of the real data that we have, right? Then we can see that our, our model is doing better, right? So we're going to we will see this 
when we get to the lab session, right? We're going to see how this is this is done over there, right? So, so what um, Cofinetic is actually doing is that it's measuring the correlation between the uh, the actual distance, right? So whether you use the Euclidean distance or you use the Manhattan or you use the cosine to measure the actual distance, right? That distance, um, if you measure it with the dendrogram distance, right? So this is this is just this one dendrogram. So probably I have built about three three different um, about three different dendrograms, right? So maybe about three different dendrograms, right? Maybe I have built built three different dendrograms. So I will measure for each of them, right? I will measure for each of them and then see how which one is doing better. So maybe this one, um, this, this let's say this is dendrogram one, right? Dendrogram one. Um, then the gram two, then the gram three, right? So I measure, I will measure um, the cofinetic correlation for each of them. So um, say this one, I got the gram one, I got um, I got zero point zero point eight nine, right? And then maybe probably this one, I got zero point say zero point four, and then maybe this one, I got zero point say um, six two, right? Then I can see that this one is actually doing better, right? And then this one is this dendrogram is one is the one that represent uh, my actual data. All right. So this is this is um, one of the ways that you can actually use to measure or see how well your 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 dendrogram is performing uh, with respect to the actual data. All right. So that's how you can actually um, choose the best dendrogram in this in this scenario. All right. So um, in the next video, we're going to go to the lab and then see how well we can implement this um, hierarchical clustering. All right. And now every concept that we have we have learned so far. All right. So see you in the next video.